Ashley Lisiaga here, Donato Cry Center, along with Miss Lisiaga, getting ready to head over to DKC. And yeah, we're excited. Another day in the life, changing some lives with martial arts, empowering people. Pretty awesome. And uh, I love it. I love it. I think it's exciting stuff there. There's nothing like learning and sharing. And taking what you sh and knowing that what you share empowers other people. So we're going to actually talk, chat about that empowering. And I sent you an email. You got the email? You? Yeah. Oh, excellent. So we're going to. Uh, I know. Um, sharing, doing these car chats. I've been having a lot of people uh, contact me or tell me they're loving these chats. So guys, thank you so much for all the love and and encouragement. I appreciate that. And we're having fun doing this and. Uh, even uh, today, I, I trained today at jiu-jitsu and one of the guys, one of my partners said, Hey, I, I watched that car chat with you and your daughter. I love it. It's yeah. great. So anyway, thanks a lot. I appreciate the loving, guys. So keep it coming. And I have to be honest, I shared that with my wife today. My wife and I, we just had a nice little chat this morning. And I just told her, Hey, you know, to be honest, I love the attention. I, you know, I, in a very selfish way, I love doing this, sharing the knowledge, but also, you know, I know I like the attention. I like, you know, you guys, the likes, the comments, and everything that comes with, uh, with, uh, you know, doing great stuff. But you know, I, I have to uh, admit that I like the attention. <laughs> and I'm just being honest about that. I said, I was, my wife gave me a bit of a, a crooked look. Really? I said, yes, I said, I know. I, I know, I know, I know. But anyway, I enjoy doing these. So thanks for all the comments and, and the encouragement. Keep them coming. So uh, very much, very much into this idea of letting people know uh, that it's so important to, to empower other people. And I use that word a lot now. It's almost getting a bit of a cliche now in, let's say, <laughs> you know, public speakers and stuff like that. But I still like it. I think it's a powerful word. <laughs> so anyway, so we're going to talk about a couple of things that you can do to empower people. These are a list of things that I just took off the top of my head and uh, I wrote that a bit of a little thing. Read the little thing that I wrote after, you know, I... Um, empowering others happens as you develop into a better leader and friend. Yeah, this is the one thing that I've learned over with with me as I have been teaching over the, over the decades and over... Uh, you know, as a, as a teacher, and I'm growing as a leader, growing as a teacher, that has helped me to improve my ability to really empower other people. So there's a couple of things you can do, and I know the first thing is, I think I put it top of the list, it's a smile. Yeah. You're starting off with a smile, have a smile on your face, we teach it to our leadership team members and our instructors in training, always greet everyone with a nice smile, and that's why you'll notice every time we start this car chat I always make sure I have a smile on my face and I greet you guys with a smile regardless of what kind of day I had I make sure I do that and I think that's the performer in me the actor in me that it's showtime and uh, you know I don't believe in faking it until you make it I believe just do it and regardless of how you feel it's and for me it's not fake I, the smile is real and uh, if I'm not feeling it on the inside I, I I will do it on the outside with the hope that I'll start feeling it on the inside. But more often than not, the smile helps me out. And so I know you do that a lot when you greet and meet people. You always have this pleasant smile. You got the nice teeth. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the, what's the second one? Be positive. Being positive. Yeah. So your thoughts on being positive? Um, I guess be nice to other people. And like even if you think negatively about something, you don't have to share it. You know? all the time so I said just like keep um keep everything that you're saying like positive and like motivational and like trying to help them out like you want to correct somebody you know like you don't necessarily say oh you're doing this wrong instead you just tell them like how they should do it like in a nice way sure yeah, yeah and I know that uh, uh, there's that saying that old saying I don't know if, I mean I, I'm not too sure if we said it to you if nothing nice to yeah. say don't say anything at all mm -hmm. and I think that's that still rings true there's some truth in that and you know, I think we're so quick to uh, to want to teach people, to take it upon ourselves to teach people. And I remember years ago, I was at a conference, and it was a leadership conference. And uh, I know this, I don't know what the, I know it was a leadership, and they, the, the 
the speaker came out and said that whenever you offer advice to people, uh, make sure that they, uh, they've asked for it. Because if they don't ask for advice, they don't ask for your input, you're actually uh, meddling in their business. And so there's some, I, I get that idea and I really, you know, I really clung to that. So I really make sure that, uh, that if I see somebody struggling with something, you know, I don't, I'm not so quick to say, hey, look, you know, this is what you should do and right away offer advice because I don't know what they're going through. I don't know what their lessons in life need to be. But if they do ask, I'm ready. If I have an answer for them, I'll give it to them. But, but I always want to be positive. You always want to encourage people and be there. If they're struggling through something, just let them know that you're there for them. But be positive and don't be quick to right away uh, jump in there and you know uh, and be negative about what they're doing. Encourage them, inspire them, and motivate them. And I know with um, that would help out a lot. That make their life better. I'm most definitely sure. So what's the next thing we got? Be genuine compliments. Yeah, I like that. Be genuine with your compliments. And and uh, when you, you have something nice to say, say it. If you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it. I know I do that when I go see people's shows. Uh, sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll go to a show. I'm invited a lot to go to a show. My wife, of course, being a choreographer and a director, she'll um, always be invited to see shows. And every once in a while, I'll go. If the show is horrible. I'll just smile and just tell people, hey, thank you so much for inviting me. I appreciate coming and uh, you have a great day. <laughs> but I don't critique the shows. It's a position I decided not to, uh, not to take. And, and again, you know, people do their best. I don't know the story behind it. Now, was I entertained? It takes a lot for, for me to be entertained. And uh, being an actor, I look it through director's eyes and actor's eyes. So there's a lot of things that I see. Uh, as an actor and a director that I would do differently in every production but yeah. so I keep it to myself and uh, you know I don't share that. that's what I choose to do and but if I do give a compliment I make sure it's a genuine compliment I'm not, not going to lie to someone if they're you know if uh, if they're good I'm going to tell them hey that was great I really I really appreciate that it looked awesome so genuine compliments be genuine what's the next yeah. thing encourage creation yeah I like that I, you know this so much, so many of us are creative in our own ways. Everyone has this ability to create and to do special things, unique things. And there's so many other people that are so they're so quick to right away tell someone what they're doing is not right. Do it this way. Try to help them, as opposed to say, "Hey, that's great. You're going in the right direction. Continue it." Because especially when you see the person's getting joy out of it. Right. Yeah. If someone's enjoying what they're doing, you know, you just tell me, hey, you know, great job. Continue on your way. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And encourage them to be more creative because, you know, if they start doing whatever they're doing in that moment. If they continue doing it, you never know. Ten years down the line, 20 years down the line, they'll continue getting better. But if you discourage them and tell them that, you know, again, be negative about it, then you never know. You'll stop them before they really possibly become great in something and I know you know that's uh, not a good thing we need more creatives more creatives encourage creativity from you know music writing filmmaking you know especially now with the new technology taking this new technology getting creative with it this car chat here it's a, a creative way to use the technology to empower you entertain you to share knowledge with you guys, so encourage in uh, uh, what do you call it? Creativity. What's the next thing? Share ideas. I like that sharing the ideas. What are your thoughts on that? Um, ideas. Ideas. I get. Mm, no, no. I guess putting your ideas together with other people's, and then see what it comes from it. Yeah, I, I think that's great. I mean, ideas. Everyone, everyone has ideas. I know there's also that. Uh, that push that you know ideas and then action it's more powerful than ideas but I think there's great there's yeah. always always a time for ideas and if you have a challenge brainstorming on ideas and how to overcome that challenge or you have let's say that gift that talent you want to share with others you know coming up with ideas how to do that 
and uh, maybe you're stuck in something, sharing ideas, or just simply listening to others and their ideas and encouraging them and inspiring and motivating. Again, that again, we're talking about ways to empower people. So that's one way, just listening to their ideas, sharing your ideas. So I think that's another way to empower people. So what's what do we got? What sharing if? knowledge. Sharing knowledge, which is what we're doing now. Empowering people, taking knowledge, sharing them, right? Wouldn't you agree? I mean, that's what you do, yeah. right? What you do is share that knowledge with other people. What's the other one? Uh, make connections. Making connection, meeting people, getting to know people. So many of us stick to, and I know I'm very guilty of that because, you know, I grew up by nature just being like almost like a loner. And so it benefits me when I go out and meet people. So that's something that's really I have to, uh, that I really work hard to do. And uh, that's something that needs to be done, connecting with people and don't get so stuck with the one circle. Just keep expounding, expounding. Me traveling around the world helped out a lot. I've met people around the world, and they've uh, I benefited from that. My character, my you know, my uh, the way I interact with people, the way I talk, my mind being open has helped uh, helped me just be a better person. But that's through connecting to other people, even through the internet, technology. Connect. I connect with people around the world, which is pretty uh, awesome. And so that's helped out a lot. So connect with people and that'll empower you. You'll be given an opportunity to empower others. So what's what's the other? We have one more? Pay it forward. Pay yeah, it forward, yeah. Awesome. Take whatever you have, pay it forward. Your knowledge is one thing. Your time is one thing. Everything we spoke about here is things that you can do to empower other people. And that's a way to pay it forward because people, I know people have poured into me, have empowered me with their knowledge, their friendship, their uh, suggestions. Uh, and even, you know, when I've been in rough spots, they've been there. When I'm on highs, they're there. So these are all people that have poured into me. So uh, do that with others, empower other people, pay it forward. And, and I saw a great video earlier today. I did share it uh, on my social and it's a video of uh, one person had, fa had fallen down, someone helped them up. And then when that person was helped up, they were encouraged and they helped someone else across the street. And then they, as they helped that person across the street, that person that was helped across the street then passed it or paid it forward by helping someone else. And the whole video was just showing all these people that were being helped, pa paying it forward in various ways. It was extremely encouraging, positive, and I was uh, very uh, uh, inspired by that. So pay it forward. So we're here at DKC. And we've used our time wisely, I think. Mm -hmm. And we're ready to change some lives. So we'll see you guys on the training floor. Until next time, you have a great day. And I'll give you my two thumbs up. Ta-da. Right. Excellent. There we go.